As we speak, uh, top generals from Turkey, Russia and the United States are meeting somewhere in Turkey uh, to discuss tensions in northern Syria. Uh, where uh, mutually suspicious forces are uh, allied with these countries. So do you have a plan for a final attack on Daesh uh, when the main players actually do need a effective uh, coordination in order to uh, clear Syria of all terror groups? Yeah, if you want to link that meeting with, with ISIS in particular, uh, won't be objective because at least one party, which is uh, Turkey, mm -hmm. has been supporting ISIS till this moment because Erdogan, the Turkish president, is Muslim Brotherhood. He is ideologically linked and sympathetic with ISIS with, and with al Nusra. And everybody knows about this in our region. And he helped them either through armament, logistically, uh, through exporting uh, oil. Uh, for the uh, other party, which is the United States, at least during Obama, during Obama administration, they dealt with uh, ISIS by uh, overlooking uh, their smuggling the Syrian oil to Turkey. And this is how they can get money in order to recruit terrorists from around the world. And uh, they didn't try to do anything more than cosmetic mm -hmm. against ISIS. The only serious party in that regard is Russia. Mm -hmm. Russia, which is effectively attacking ISIS in cooperation with us. So uh, the question, uh, how can they cooperate? And I think uh, the Russian, they have hope that the, the two parties uh, join the Russians and the Syrian in their fight against terrorism. So we have more hopes now regarding the American party at the way, because of the new, the new administration. While in, Tur in Turkey, nothing has changed mm -hmm. in that regard. ISIS in the north, we have the only one route of, for, of supply mm. is through Turkey. Mm. And they're still uh, alive and they're still active and they're still uh, resisting uh, different kind of raids and attacks because mm. of the uh, Turkish support. And now